Let's move forward and the next thing which is a little bit more easy, I would like to show you the same similar GitHub operation using the Visual Studio code. So previously we have seen everything from the Git CLI. I know it sometimes becomes a little bit difficult to remember all of these command, but with the new IDEs or integrated development environment like Visual Studio Code and IntelliJ, it has become a super easy to do same kind of operation with the few clicks from your UI. So let's jump to the Visual Studio Code and see how we can perform the similar operation without touching the GitHub CLI. So here you can see this is my Visual Studio code and the first thing is how would you like to open your GitHub repository. So first thing what you can do if you have already cloned your GitHub repository then you can go to the file and then click on open and then you can click on that particular folder and then you can click on open and it will open that particular GitHub repository into your Visual Studio code. That's the first option which you have right now. And also once you open that GitHub repository, then once you click on to the left hand side, which is Explorer section, then there you will see all the files which are present into the branch. And the default branch is going to be your uh, main branch where you're working. So if you take a look onto this particular GitHub repository, so this is the GitHub repository which we have created, and this is going to be the main branch which is visible over here into the Visual Studio code. So this is the default branch which will by default be selected for you. But let's take our use case and if I show you my presentation then uh, let's take about the branching. So this particular implementation. So yes we have uh, worked we have already created our main branch and then we want to create some new changes and then we are going to create our new branch as well. So the changes are quite similar but I want to do the same thing from the Visual Studio code so that you feel more comfortable working from the UI also. So for that what I'm going to do I'm going to open the Visual Studio code over here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new branch from the Visual Studio code. So here uh, like I'll show you once again. So on the Visual Studio code, you will find an option of GitHub over here. This is the option which shows this is, uh, this will allow you to do the GitHub operation. So click on this particular option over here and here you will find an option which is like a three dots visible over here. So click on that and from there we are going to create our first branch. So click on this and then go to branches and then click on create branch. And you, there are a couple of options, create a branch and create a branch from. So I'm going to choose create a branch from option. And here it is going to show me that from which branch you want to create it. So here, if you take a look onto the diagram, so yes, we want to create it from our main because that's the copy we want to take a look. All right. So let's take a look over here. So I will go back again, create a branch, select a branch from and here select the main branch. Now it is asking me to provide the branch name. So here I'm going to put the name like uh, my custom branch from Visual Studio or maybe I can uh, prefix with the Visual Studio code then it will be easy. Uh, Visual Studio Custom Branch. All right, then hit enter over here. And here you can see that your branch has been created, which you can clearly see over here. Okay, if I click on to, uh, okay, let's me click on over here. Then here you can see that your Visual Studio uh, Custom Branch has been created. All right, but this custom branch has already been created onto your local laptop which you can see, uh, which is over here. Okay, it has not been pushed to your uh, master branch or the main branch. So for example, if I go over here and refresh this page, then I will only see the two branches, which you can see over here. And I can show you those two branches once again. So here you can see if you click on two branches, then here you can see my custom branch. I don't see the Visual Studio Crunch, uh, Visual Studio branch, which I have just created. So how it will be visible over here. So what you need to do, you, you need to go to the uh, Visual Studio code once again, and there you will find an option to publish a branch. So click on this publish branch button over here. And here you can see uh, it has been published. So now let's get back to your uh, browser try to refresh it 
And here you can see the branch is visible over here. So that's how you can create a branch from your Visual Studio code. Now, after creating the branch, make sure that you selected the correct branch where you are working. So here, for example, this is the branch which I have created. So if you want to change the branch, then click on select. And here you can see your branch is Visual Studio custom branch. And if you want to switch again, then you can click over here and then click on this particular branch. And then you can see that your branch has changed. But we just wanted to work on the Visual Studio code branch over here, custom branch, which we have just created. Okay. And let's take a look how many files are there. So if you go over here into the repository and here select the branch and Visual Studio code branch, then here you can see these are the two files which is available over here. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a one more file for our uh, visual, from our Visual Studio code and then we are going to push that particular file file. So to do that, let's go to Visual Studio Code, go to the Explorer and here create a new file like uh, uh, Visual Studio and I'm going to put tamp.py. Okay. And here you can see uh, your file has been created. And for example, I'm just going to put uh, like uh, some sample comment one and uh, probably i will add one more like uh, just to see something inside my code file okay then these are the two things which i have added over here inside my temporary file okay now the next thing is we need to commit and push these changes so how you can do that so previously if you remember that we were using git commit and git push command as well as git add command to initially add that file all right but here it is really simple with the few clicks you can just uh, push your file which includes add commit and push commands okay so go back over here and here you can see uh, that this file has been already updated so here if you'll see then you will find this u option Okay, so now what you can do, uh, you can just type in the message. Okay, so I'll just put the message over here like a feature and added a file from Visual Studio. Okay, and from here I can just click on commit. And here you can see there is no stage changes. Uh, would you still like to stage your changes and commit? Then just type yes, it, it should be okay, I think. Okay, so now we have commit our change, but we have not pushed our changes uh, to our branch. So how we can push our changes? So once you commit that file, then that file will still not be visible over here. So if I try to refresh this one, then uh, yeah, here you can see the file is still not visible over here. Okay, now to push that particular file, what you need to do, you just need to go at the bottom over here and see these three options. Okay. So what we can what you can do over here is like just hover over these options. So here you can see the first option is fetch, pull, and this is the option which is push. So let me show you once again. So this is the option for a push over here, which is visible into the Visual Studio code. So what you need to do now, you just need to click on this button over here, and this will push your changes to the branch okay so the changes has been pushed now so let's take a look over here and try to refresh this particular page so here i'm just going to refresh it and here you can see that our change has been reflected over here which is clearly visible over here okay so this is how like with the few clicks you can easily commit and push your change to your github repository using the visual studio code now after the changes has been pushed from your local uh, Visual Studio code to your branch where you are working, then you can create your pull request. So here again, this option will be visible over here. Then you can simply go and click on create a pull request. Here you can uh, like uh, add a title. I would use the same title because this is a feature and I have added a file from a Visual Studio code. And here you can write some description if it is uh, available or if you want to add some meaningful description for your commit and for your project. All right. So here I can write like uh, this is the file I pushed first time from Visual Studio Code. All right. And then here you can just click on create pull request. All right. 
and now the pull request has been created from your uh, from the branch which you have created from the visual studio the next thing is assigning the reviewer so here on the right hand side you can again find the same option the same exercise which we did in the cli so just click on over here and here you can assign the reviewer so i'm just selecting this reviewer over here select that one and here you can see the pull request has been assigned to that particular reviewer now once the pull request has been assigned to that reviewer then that reviewer has to approve so let me show you how a reviewer can approve that particular pull request so here i am uh, opening a one more window and let me go back to the home page of this particular reviewer and here you can see that pull request has been uh, reflected over here like uh, added a file from a visual studio code that's the pull request okay so click on this pull request over here and uh, here i'm just gonna take a look onto this particular pull request and let's take a look onto the commit so yeah this is the commit which has been done so let's take a look onto the file change so here you can see this is the file which a user has been added and here you can see these are the changes uh, which user has performed inside that particular file all right so now i have verified these files then i can go on to review changes click on approve and then select on submit review so i'm approving the pull request over here okay so the pull request has been approved then i will just drag thing over here onto other side and then i'll go back over here and refresh the page and here it should show that hey the rahul wag has approved the other user of mine has approved that particular pull request all right now the pull request has been approved which means that we can merge our pull request to the main branch so here you can just click on merge pull request and here you will find option so select the same option and click on confirm merge over here and here you can see the changes has been merged so once the changes has been merged then it should reflect onto the main branch also so let's get back and here you can see the main branch and main branch is showing the file which is visual studio temp file which we have just created from the visual studio code in your visual studio code branch okay so if you take a look over here into this particular file then here you can see these are the changes which we did okay and uh, one more thing like once you go back to your uh, uh, visual studio code then here you are still on to your visual studio code branch but we need to change it to your main branch so let's change it over here but as soon as you change this uh, uh, branch to the main branch and if you go to the source code then you will not find that particular file that the one file which you have added so for that what you need to do is you need to pull the changes so again go back to the branch uh, the github option over here and here click on the this particular option fetch as well as pull so let's first click on fetch and then you can click on pull so fetch is not necessary over here but uh, it is always recommended to use the fetch option now i have done the pull so which means i have pulled the latest changes whatever has happened onto my main branch i have pulled onto my local laptop so if you go back and see over here then my visual studio file is available over here so that's the whole life cycle of your github operation when you are using the visual studio code and it is very simple using the few click operation and you don't need to remember any of those complex command